This is lecture three, part two. I'm going to go through some of the Russian history. Russian history starts out with a lot of nomads, people who just moved about around in the well, before 500 AD. That's where the Slavs come in, and the Slavs probably started in 100 AD, something like that, maybe. And they moved around a lot. They started somewhere between the Ukraine and Poland, and you can see where the Slavs expanded out. Some of them went more into Russia, the Ukraine, and then into the southern part of southeastern Europe, to what is today Yugoslavia. You can see over time that the Slavs expanded out, but as they expanded out, Mongolians came in, the Golden Horde, or the Tartars, as they're also known as, came in and invaded during the 1100s and the 1200s, trying to take over who the what was then the Ukraine, or the Rus, where we get Russia from. Uh, the Golden Horde, as it was known, the Mongolians took over a large swath of land, as you can see from this map here. This is from 1246 A.D. They had a huge kingdom back then. You can see that a lot of that kingdom today is part of Russia, or former Soviet Union. Uh, the person who defeated the Golden Horde for Russia was, was Ivan the Terrible. And, yeah, he, he looks kind of terrible. What a cool name, though. He, uh... He's the one that finally kind of subdued the Golden Horde so that Russia could expand. And um, we have people like the Cossacks, which are these farmer people that lived in parts of Russia. They get cool hats, as you can see on the left. These are traditionally old school Russians, if you want to look at them that way. From there, we have Peter the Great. Peter the Great was the first guy who really decided, okay... We're a group of people, we're Russians, but we want to be a little more like Europe. And so he kind of Europeanized, if that is a word, Russia. And he banned beards, because typical Russians before his time grew beards, and they looked like the Cossacks, they wore the big furry hats. He banned beards and charged men who grew beards a tax, because he wanted them to look more like the French or the English and so he started trying to push to the east to try to develop a window out to the east so that they could trade with um, places like England and France. He, uh, he actually helped found the city of St. Petersburg. Named after him, eh, maybe named after St. Peter, depends on who you ask. But um, he developed that and kind of got a European focus of Russia. Catherine the Great later came along, and she um, pushed further out to the western part of Russia. She expanded the territory out that way into Siberia. Um, there were a lot of serfs, a lot of people who um, were farmers, who typically lived on, uh, on land that they were farmed of. Uh, 